Good day, everyone. My name is Parker, and welcome to the 10th and final day of Vlogmas here on Adventures with Parker. Now, I know what you're thinking. Didn't you say that this was going to be 12 days of Vlogmas? Yes, I did say that, and um, that was what I was planning. But then I had to delay a couple videos. You know, life gets in the way, it happens. And I was going to try to smush everything all in before Christmas, but then I decided, would I rather spend my holidays editing and sitting at a laptop, or would I rather spend time with my family and just relax and enjoy the holidays? And obviously I chose the uh, second one, and I decided to cut those final days, although I did promise that I would conclude the series with a 10th video, and uh, that's what we're doing here. I know it's after Christmas, but it is still the holiday season. And really, Christmas goes until January 5th, technically, like according to um, church calendar traditions. Yeah, it's still Christmas, so this video is still valid. I'm not too late. But um, <laughs> yeah, if you couldn't already tell by the title, today I'm just going to take a look back at 2020 and look back at how the year was um, for the channel and also how it was for me personally. Um, just kind of reflect on everything that's been going on these past 12 months. Um, also, we're going to look forward to 2021. I'll be sharing some of the plans that I have for the channel for next year. So it's just gonna be a fun, casual video and I hope you enjoy it. So without any further ado, for the very last time in 2020, let the adventures begin. All right, so if you can remember all the way back to the beginning of March, I made this video where I announced my very first coaster road trip, which did not happen. <laughs> Um, I was gonna go to Cedar Point, Kings Island, Kentucky Kingdom, Holiday World, and yeah, this was gonna be my first coaster road trip. I was going to really expand my credit list and I was really looking forward to it. Um, but then obviously COVID-19 hit and um, the borders have been closed since March, so I wasn't able to visit the States. And then even, um, where I live in Ontario, all of our theme parks, just they didn't open. So I haven't been on a roller coaster in over a year. Yeah, my last time on a coaster was December 29th. Um, I was at Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland and I rode Thunder Run. It was the only coaster open during the event. So uh, yeah, I haven't really <laughs> done anything since then. But I have my fingers crossed that we can just push back my plans and that trip will happen in 2021. But obviously, if we've learned anything from the past year, um, life is unpredictable. I, I'm hoping and it looks like I'm gonna be good to go for the trip next year, but it, it's hard to say and I can't really say anything for certain. So I'm just gonna be optimistic about this. But I'm also setting myself up to not be overly disappointed if I have to push back until 2022. But I mean, even though that trip didn't happen, there's a lot of things that I did do on the channel and there were a lot of firsts for me this year. Now, I have spent the last couple of years really establishing this channel as a channel for theme parks, of course, but also for um, travel and local attractions and outdoorsy kind of things. And this year, I think the channel really kind of grew into that brand. I mean, even though I didn't get to go anywhere, I still did a lot of theme park stuff through my theme park parlay series, which I've had quite a bit of success with. And I'm really proud of the videos that I was able to uh, put out through that. Um, I have been planning on doing those kind of videos on the channel for a while now. So I'm glad that this year was finally the year that I could make it happen. And I had a lot of really cool non-theme park adventures as well. I mean, I got to explore my city of London through a bunch of hikes and I got to, well, I got to go on my trip to Tobermory, which was 
amazing. If you haven't seen the series, go check it out. Um, it's really cool. I got to explore the town and visit a couple of really awesome national parks up there. So yeah, that was one adventure that kind of made up for the loss of everything else. And I mean, as hard as this year was, this was the most successful year for my channel that I have ever seen. Part of that is because I put out more videos in 2020 than I have in any other year. I've been doing this channel for four years now. Yeah, this is the uh, fourth season. We're gonna be starting the fifth in early 2021. If you look back on my earlier seasons, I maybe only have um, at most 20 videos per season. But this year I have like, I don't know, 40, 50? I'll have to look that number up. But it was a lot, a lot more than I'm used to, which is great. And I also grew the channel quite a bit. I mean, I more than doubled the amount of subscribers I have. And honestly, that is all thanks to you guys. All of you who like my videos and who support me both on the channel and on social media. So if you're watching this, just thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your encouragement and for inspiring me to just continue on with this adventure. I think one of my favorite parts of having this channel is just getting to connect with people and meet people. Um, yeah, it is just really rewarding to have this community. So yeah, thank you so much. On a personal level, some highlights of the year are, of course, meeting my boyfriend, Michael. Um, we actually started dating a couple of weeks before the pandemic hit. So literally we went on three dates and then lockdown happened. <laughs> and so the relationship was made official over a Zoom call. I actually was the one who made it happen, wrote out this little sign and held it up kind of like uh, Taylor Swift's You Belong With Me music video. You know the one I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, that's how our relationship started. So yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that even out of something as life changing and life altering as the lockdown and the pandemic, something really amazing still managed to come out of it. And honestly, now I just can't imagine my life without him. Um, I'm tearing up a bit. <laughs> Michael, if you're watching this, which I know you are, because you're so supportive and awesome, I love you so much and 2020 would not be one moment. I definitely wouldn't have been able to get through 2020 without you, so thank you. Other than that, I'm just keeping on. I'm uh, continuing on with my studies. I have been doing online classes for the past few months, which has been very different, but I seem to be doing okay. And I have one more year after this one, at least for my bachelor's and then more schooling after that still. <laughs> but I'm getting through it and I mean, I've been doing okay. Now I have a couple teasers as to what I have planned for next year. First of all, fingers crossed that the 2021 Coaster Road Trip works out. Second, I am working on my first full length documentary for the channel. I hope to have it ready around early March. So stay tuned for that. And I'm also working on introducing a new series to the channel. The series will be called Imagineering with Parker, and it'll basically be the same format as my last Vlogmas video. So basically I'll be sharing some theme park concepts and I'll be visualizing them using Planet Coaster and maybe even some conceptual drawings. Um, yeah, if you'd like to see some videos like that, comment down below, I'd love to hear your input. And uh, yeah, anyways, I have a couple more videos coming out after the new year, and then that'll be it for season four. I will be taking a short break, and then I'll be back sometime around the middle of February, late February, we'll see what's going on. But I'm working on a lot of stuff for the channel in the meantime, which I'm really excited to share. I'm just really looking forward to where this channel takes me in 2021. Anyways, I think what I really wanna say in this video and the message that I wanna leave off with is 2020 has been a crazy year. There's been a lot of challenges and difficulties, 
but there's also been a lot of blessings. Yes, you need to squint and you need to look really, really hard to find them, but they are there. And I know that I am always going to remember this year for both the bad and the good. I mean, there's a bit of both, but yeah. <laughs> I am going into 2021 with an open mind. I am hopeful that it will be better than 2020, but you know what? I'm just gonna be ready for whatever adventure next year throws at us. Anyways, if I haven't said it already, which I'm pretty sure I have, but here it comes one more time, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your encouragement. And thank you for inspiring me to just keep on going with this channel and with this adventure. I mean, look at Vlogmas. This series has, um, well, first of all, it's the first time I've ever done Vlogmas on the channel. And I really broke out of my comfort zone by doing these videos. I mean, I got to be more personal and vulnerable than I usually am on the channel. And I had a lot of fun doing that. Comment down below if you would like to see more Vlogmas videos next year, or even if you wanna see these kind of style of videos throughout the year, I'd be open to doing that too. I mean, I've just had a lot of fun with it. So let me know if you wanna see more. Speaking about wanting to see more, please subscribe. Um, like I said, this channel is all about theme park, travel, local, and outdoor adventures. And I have plenty of those in stock for 2021. So subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Like I said, I'm going to be going on a short hiatus soon, but I will be active on my social media accounts. So go ahead and give me a follow over on Instagram and Twitter at ADV Parker. And you can also find me on Facebook if you just look up Adventures with Parker. I, I should pop up. Anyways, that's it. That's 2020. <laughs> I wish you all a very happy new year and a happy rest of the holiday season. And I'll see you in 2021. Until then, the adventures are calling. See ya. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to This is what I get for recording videos at 1 in the morning. I get emotional.